Hey, it's Kelly Thurvey, Wholesaler. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough video on the Columbus Compass. This is a 374 BHC. Um, pretty cool floor plan. Actually has opposing slides in the living area, outside kitchen, bunks off the back. Um, it's going to have a second bath entry right here as well. Um, has the new solid steps as well, so I mean you don't have to worry about them swaying back and forth or anything like that. And they're super lightweight, so once you open up the door, those will swing right in. Um, you can see here we have a power awning. Um, it does have a tilt on both sides um, to kind of show you how that works. Once you run the awning all the way out, you can push this in and all you do is tighten that nut up. So if you want to pitch it a little bit, allow the rain to run off, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, you can see right down here, you have your full size spare, um, the jack there to lower it down. Um, you're going to see here you have the magnetic slam latch doors, so there's no little latches or anything like that. Have two outside speakers up there. You have a full, big, nice, finished off pass-through storage here. Um, give you a good idea too with the aluminum structure as well. You're going to have the ladder for the bunks to just stored in here during transit. You have cat cable and satellite hook up there, so if you want to put a TV out here, what have you, in the storage, you can do that. Um, right here, this little red switch is going to be a battery disconnect, so if you turn it north and south, pull it off, so when you're storing the unit, the carbon monoxide detector, LP detector, things like that aren't going to drain the battery. Um, you can see this one is equipped with the six point auto leveling. Um, nice too, you can control that either inside or outside. Now get to that and show you how that all works here in just a minute. Um, we have a propane bot on this side and then there's also going to be one on the other side. Those are going to be the bigger 30 pound bottles as well. Some more storage here up front. Has a spot for two batteries. You're going to have a spray off port there. Um, you're just going to have your crank handles here for your spare tire what have you has some loading lights here and there's also a switch on the bottom of this all LED lighting throughout the coach um, using less battery I'm um, keeping the coach cooler as well you can see that um, your other propane bottle is here all right okay now over here you're gonna see obviously you have the other side of your pass through over here is going to be your inverter, which you can see all you do is push the power button there. So every time you're not plugged in, you can use that and then the refrigerator will actually operate off of the battery, okay? And you can hear that running. It shows your voltage there as well. Um, now over here, you're going to have your auto leveling switch, okay? It's pretty self-explanatory. And nice thing too is, is they have a little user guide right here. So if you ever forget how to do it, you can always take a look at that right there if it peels off we'll obviously get you on the video um, but you can see to auto level the coach once you back into the campsite all you're going to do hit auto level look at levels the coach out for you okay so it's that easy um, and then you hit retract all when you want to leave raises it up you can set the hitch height for your tow vehicle that way you just hit that and then it'll automatically set it up to where you need to be back up you're good to go um, that blue hose up front that I showed you and that'll actually be just a little quick connect right there hot and cold pretty sweet you can spray off the dog the kids um, whatever you need to do very versatile there you can do that okay so another thing so all your controls are gonna be right here so you can see everything's labeled for you winterize city water say satellite cable auxiliary you're gonna have a tank flush you have your water pump the whole nine yards water filtration system black tank flush everything on the coach is right there and it spells out which way you need to turn each valve if you want to go to city it shows you how to do that if you want to winterize it, it shows you how to do that if you're dry camping which means they don't have water hookup at the campsite so what you're going to do at that point in time you're going to put the water here you're going to turn to dry camp okay and then you're going to use your pump so anytime you're running off of your fresh water tank you'll have to use your pump to pressurize the system anytime they have water hookup at the campsite which a lot of them do then you hook it to city water screw the same water hose into there always make sure you use a water pressure regulator though that's going to reduce the psi down to about 45 okay um, so again city water means you have water hookup screw it into here don't need to use your pump don't need to use your tank if you don't have water hookup and you need to fill it up before you go or you're boondocking or what have you you'll fill go here turn to dry camp and it'll fill the tank for you okay tank fill there then a the dry camp and then that'll um, fill everything up for you now right down here is going to be your galley which is your sink black and gray okay in like they are now just close pull 
pull them out to open them, okay? And what you're gonna wanna do after you hook up your sewer hose, we'll show you those connections here in just a second. Always pull your black first, let it run through. Then you're gonna go ahead and go ahead into your tank flush. Right here, you have two of them, obviously two bathrooms. And then you're going to let that run while the black valve is open. Let that run for about, I don't know, 20 seconds to a minute. And then what that's gonna do is gonna spray inside the black tank, clean off all your sensors, clean the toilet paper, debris, waste out of the tank for you, okay? Then shut the water off before you close the valve. After you close the valve, pour your gray in your galley, which is gonna be your sinks and your shower. And what that's gonna do is gonna finish rinsing out your sewer hose, okay? Over here's your water heater, okay? That's your pressure release valve. So you always wanna pull that to make sure water squirts out of there before you actually light it or run it off electric. This is a gas electric DSI water heater, which means direct spark ignition, okay? So all you gotta do is flip the switch on the inside and it's gonna go ahead and fire up for you, okay? Now, there is a little switch right down here, a little on off switch, and you can pull this off as well. A little on off switch right here, that's gonna be for the electric side, okay? So we can shut that off, turn it on. We always wanna make sure, again, it is full of water before you turn that on. If not, you'll burn up the element, okay? This is the exhaust for your furnace, okay? So what's gonna happen there is, nothing really need to do out here, but if you're ever wondering, hey, I just turned my furnace on, it doesn't feel like the air is blowing hot, all you can do is come out here and put your hands close to that, and it's gonna be blowing hot air immediately. That'll just kinda of let you know, hey, it is working, everything's functioning properly, okay? So right down here, you're gonna see, you have a couple different things. So right here, to the left side, this is gonna be the drain for your fresh water tank, okay? So we'll drain that out. And then if you're, obviously when you're pulling, you don't wanna be pulling full of water. So you'll wanna make sure that that's drained. Now, again, right here's your sewer connection. So you can see the little clips on here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that that's always on when you're traveling. And the sewer hose that you get will have an end fitting on it just the same way. So you'll put the sewer hose on, put the other end in the hole, and you're gonna pull your valves, do your black tank flush, the things I just demonstrated for you there, okay? So this is gonna be the front black tank, and then there's another spot right on the back side, which we'll go back there and look at that. What that's gonna be is for the second, the half bath, okay? So we'll get that taken care of for you there, and come right back here. If you want to, you can get in here to access you can see there's a little shutoff valve right there. That's gonna be for the ice maker for the refrigerator, okay? Now if you look right back here, there's gonna be a separate handle, okay? That's gonna be a separate handle for the back bathroom, okay? Not the master bath, the back bath. Easiest way to remember it is, this one's in the back, this one's for the back bathroom. The other one's in the front. So this one's gonna have a separate valve. So that's gonna be for the black tank in the back bathroom, same way set up there, okay? You can see you actually have your um, second round of jacks back here. Slide outs. Now this is a 50 amp service unit, so two ACs, what have you. Now there is a little blue light on the top of this lid. That'll let you know that, hey, we are getting power from the pole. And then what'll happen is, because a lot of times you'll be running something and the breaker will trip at the pole. Always double check that. Um, make sure you don't have any of that going on. It is prepped for a backup camera. Um, rear ladder here, it is a full walkable roof as well. So you can get up there and do maintenance, what have you. There's a quick connect gas line right down here. Um, underneath the frame there, you can see that. So if you want to hook a barbecue, what have you. And again, kind of everything's labeled out for you. Um, microwave, little mini fridge. Now this is going to be just a 110 refrigerator as well. It's a little dorm fridge here, so you can see that nice and cool right now. Um, makes it really nice and this is a metal top so a lot of times the outside kitchen sometimes you, if you don't get them sealed or it rains some of this wood will get a little wet this is nice because this isn't going to get wet it's not going to warp or anything so very very nice there and you can see here you can unhook this and pull out your cooktop here show you that two burner cooktop okay this uh, slides in and you'll just want to make sure that you go ahead and get that button okay that way when it's traveling it's not bumping back and forth and here's going to be your gas line so you can run that to that quick connect down there and hook it to your cooktop okay same way on the steps here on the back side so this is going to be the half bath so you can see all you're going to do is open your door all the way open and then you're just going to grab the bottom and you're going to lift up and these are zero gravity so i mean i can take my hands off i mean they're not heavy at all 
which is really nice. Now the feet are adjustable, obviously this way, in and out. Um, there's just a little clip right here on the inside you can see right there. And what that'll do is allow you to adjust it depending on the terrain. Now you do is just let that up nice and easy. Goes up and you're good to go. Handle, just lift up on it, slide it in. I always like to go over the door myself, but that's totally up to you. We'll go inside here and check out the inside. Okay, so right inside here, um, inside the main entry door, you're going to see there's a little tablet like on the wall. So my RV will kind of give you some how to some troubleshooting videos, owner's manuals, all the good stuff there. So you can go there if you ever have any questions. The leveling, hit the leveling button, boom, auto level, set up, good to go. Um, you can do just the front or the rear. I don't really know why you would do that, but you are more than welcome to do that. Um, you can set the hitch height again. Same thing you can do out there, you can do it in here on this little tablet for you. Okay, now this is going to be your thermostat. You can see here, just like at home, so don't, don't think it's any different. Ceiling fan um, right there, zones, mode, systems, you just set it set the temperature you're good to go works just like at your house and you're you're all set now inside this door here you're going to see some other buttons okay so you got tank heaters and again this is all spelled out for you water heater gas water heater electric okay now on the electric you got to have this on and you got to have the switch on down at the bottom left hand corner of the water heater for gas you just flip this on okay gray and black tank heaters fresh tank heater water pump which there's a pump switch on the outside as well um, the awning, run it in and out here, slide outs, and then this is going to be for all your exterior, interior lights, what have you, okay? So you can see, kind of shuts everything down for you. Another slide out switch is here. Now right here is going to be your monitor panel, so you'll hold this down. Obviously we're draining the fresh right now, the battery's fully charged. Now your battery's going to trickle charge anytime you're plugged into um, Shoreline, and anytime you're hooked to your tow vehicle, as long as it's ran properly and it's hooked up. You also have USB chargers there, 110 receptacles. You have your breakers and fuses right down here. Everything will be labeled out for you. Um, now the first thing you want to do when you go on a camping trip, okay, you get to the campground, you're going to open up both your propane bottles all the way, okay. You come here to your stove, turn your stove on full blast, and you're going to use your sparker knob here to go ahead and light those up. Now let that burn for about I don't know, 30 seconds. What that's going to do is it's going to get air pockets out of the lines, okay? And it might take you two or three minutes of clicking this to actually get it going because it's got to come clear from the front of the trailer to the back, especially first time using it for the year, what have you. Uh, microwave here, just like at home. Oven down below. You're going to have your refrigerator here. Now, make sure that this light, this little latch, this little rubber thing here, is screwed in before you take off that way because this is just like your fridge at home. I mean, it doesn't have the little locks. The doors can come open. All your goodies are on the floor when you get to where you're going. Solid surface countertop, uh, one basin, stainless steel sink, pull out sprayer there. Now over here, you're gonna have a nice big flat screen TV. You're gonna have your AM, FM, CD, DVD. You're gonna have your Furion fireplace. Now this will produce some heat. Um, so you can see, I think it's about 5,000 BTU. So nice fall day or early spring whatever if you want to take the chill out of the air just turn that on you can have it produce just heat or you can have it just for looks however you want to do it so it's a pretty sweet um, setup however you want to take advantage of that um, over here you're going to have your theater seat you're also going to have lit cup holders just hit the button there and it'll light up on the side okay you have your mcd roller shades so you just pull down slightly and those will raise up okay it is a good idea if it's super hot out to kind of pull the shades and keep the sun out. Light here. Again, all LED lighting, so going to keep everything a lot cooler for you. Now back here in the bunk room, you can see it does have a little TV back here. Sound bar, bunks. Remember the ladders out in the storage. Um, nice bunk mats as well. The AC is all ducted throughout the ceiling, okay? So any duct on the ceiling is going to be AC. Now any duct around the floor is going to be heat, okay? Now it does have a bunk over here. Now it is in the stowed position. You can go ahead and just pull that pin and you can lower that down, raise it up. Just always make sure that that's latched in 
before you take off or in the down position, okay? Now this will make into a bed as well. So you can see that folds out into a nice height of bed there for you. Come up here into the master. Again, the slide out button for the master is right here, okay? Now it does have a nice big pocket door, which will slide close with a mirror on the back side. Has windows on both sides of the bed, so you can open those up, get some nice cross ventilation there. It does have a washer dryer prep as well, so hot and cold, the drain, hookups, whole nine yards, okay? Now, you're gonna be able to see as well, you have some return airs, there are some foam pieces in there. Make sure you clean those out. And right over here, you're gonna see it says TV backer, so if you wanna mount a TV on the wall, just make sure you screw in right around there, okay? We'll go in here, open up the door to the bathroom there. You can see in there, nice big shower, skylight over the tub, and a vent as well in here. Um, nice sinks as well. Again, foot flush toilet, porcelain toilet there as well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Um, we'd love to answer any more questions for you guys. And uh, we appreciate your business. Thank you so much. 877-877-4494. Thanks a lot.